Hi, it's Kevin from Wordvice. Submitting an academic manuscript for journal publication is the final step in getting your research published in a scientific journal. But prior to submission, you need to prepare your manuscript. And this includes proofreading and editing it to ensure that it meets the quality standards of your target journal. Authors are advised to do this before sending a manuscript to journal editors. In this video, we will address the main issues authors should look for when revising a research paper. We will also show how an editing and proofreading service helps you tick those boxes in this manuscript editor's checklist. Revising a manuscript for publication takes more than a thorough spell check for typos and proofreading for grammar errors. Authors should also check all sections of their academic paper to ensure that they have put key content in the proper sections in the correct order. The initial screening process for manuscripts is explained in the manuscript submission guidelines of most journal websites. Authors can use the following categories to create a checklist for what to look for when editing their research paper. Manuscript organization. Check to make sure that your study contains everything needed in the introduction, methods, results, and discussion sections, or whichever sections are required by your target journal. Have you included contextual information about the study, such as background and current research? Are your main methods and analytical tools fully explained? Does your discussion focus sufficiently on the results of the study and include any study limitations? Consider all of these questions when reading through your paper and revising for content. The internal organization within each research paper section is just as important. Do the results line up clearly with your methodology? Will your arguments and conclusions be clear to the reader? Or could you make them a bit clearer by adding, removing, or relocating some of the research content? Is your point of view on the research implications of your study represented somewhere in the discussion section? Consistent application of writing elements. Consistency is important in any research work. Journal editors need to understand your argument and confirm that the arguments, terms, and even spelling and punctuation are applied consistently throughout. The following consistency issues appear in many manuscript drafts. Active and passive voice. Authors should understand when to use the active and the passive voice in their research writing. Does your paper apply voice consistently and in a way that's in line with your journal's style and guidelines? As a rule of thumb, use the active voice when possible in your research paper. One exception to this rule is in the methods section, where passive voice is preferable in order to focus on the materials, participants, and execution of the methods instead of the researchers. Parallelism. Are the parts within a sentence parallel? Authors should learn how to fix parallelism issues in their writing so that it meets high academic standards. Here's an example of what a non-parallel sentence looks like. When listing items in a verb phrase, make sure that each subsequent element fits the main verb and number. Inconsistent use of verb tenses can also create non-parallel lists. Verb tense. Different sections and situations call for different verb tenses. For instance, when discussing what was done in the research or methods section, authors should generally use the simple past tense. In the discussion section, when referring to the study's implications, the present tense is usually applied. Article usage. Articles, a, and, and the, and other determiners can cause a lot of problems for non-native English speakers. You can find a handy tool for determining which article to use by checking out the link to the Wordvice resources article in the description. Precise and academic vocabulary terms. All key terms and phrases used in your study should be applied correctly and should read naturally. When an imprecise or incorrect term is found in a paper, this can signal to the journal editors that perhaps you are not so careful when it comes to using scientific terms. Overall academic vocabulary. Academic vocabulary applies to verbs as well. Rather than writing carry out, try conduct or perform. Apply some alternative verbs in your academic writing to strengthen its impact on readers. One great way to instantly improve your verbs is to choose the Latin version of the verb. Whereas carry out is a bit more colloquial, both conduct and perform have Latin roots. Visit the link in the description to check out a list of over 100 great verbs to use in research writing. Create readable and natural writing. When editing research writing, focus on the readability of the work as well as on the individual terms used. Ask yourself, is the meaning of your sentences clear? Are the key points understandable? Are the phrases and expressions written at a suitably academic level of English? For example, this sentence might be grammatically correct, but it's wordy and a bit awkward, making it harder for readers to understand. Eliminating these extra terms will make your writing clearer and more concise. Small changes in phrasing and expression can make a big difference in the academic quality of your writing. And a competent editor will greatly enhance the elements of style in your paper. Professional editors can rephrase nearly any kind of unnatural sentence, provided that the meaning is clear enough, and they can write it in a way that best portrays the author's intended meaning. 
But as a research author, one of the best ways of gauging good writing is to read a lot of articles published by the journal you're looking to publish in. Proofread your manuscript thoroughly. Proofreading is often the last step in the manuscript preparation process, and it's completed after the final revision and after editing. In addition to the consistency issues mentioned above, manuscript proofreading catches errors in grammar, punctuation, mechanics, and formatting. And if you can't locate these errors yourself, consider receiving professional proofreading. English language editing services are adept at identifying and correcting all basic writing issues. In the case that your manuscript is partially accepted, as opposed to outright rejected, eliminating objective errors limits the need for more minor revisions later on. It also leaves a better overall impression on journal reviewers. And while MS Word and some grammar and spell check programs will catch most common errors, including abbreviation use, hyphenation, and spacing, they still miss others. Human proofreading services like Wordvice employ expert academic editors who completely eliminate errors in the final document. Correctly format your citations and references. Make sure to follow the correct style formatting of your journal, APA, AMA, MLA, etc. This applies both to your study's references as well as to the in-text citations. Manuscript formatting errors are considered minor issues. However, the more errors your manuscript contains, the more likely it is to be rejected due to poor language quality. AMA and APA automatic citation generators can create somewhat accurate citations, but human editing can navigate the nuances of these and other academic style guides. The best journal manuscript editing services not only proofread and edit for style and formatting issues, they also rephrase unnatural sentences and substitute awkward or non-academic terms. In the case of manuscript rejection or conditional acceptance, manuscripts must undergo additional editing as substantive revisions are made. Wordvice Premium Academic Editing Service provides all-in editing and proofreading, along with unlimited revisions for documents up to one year. Premium editing allows authors to constantly re-upload their document for editing while they revise. We assign your manuscript to a professional editor with subject expertise in your academic field. This expertise ensures that errors in key terms and even methodology will be caught before submission. We hope that this video has shed some light on the editing and proofreading process for research papers and journal manuscripts. And stay tuned for future videos on more specific editing and proofreading topics. Until then, best of luck writing your research papers and happy writing.